Lasserola Agile, a cross-site video by Dangerously Incompetent. So I was ambling around the exhibition looking at lacerator builds to see if lacerators were great yet. And then I came across this one, Milly Lily. And I thought, oh, let's give that a go. We got some maulers on the front to have a poke at the frame and anything hidden underneath. And we got maulers to add a bit more durability when you're bashing into people and a skinner to hook onto people and close the gap when you're chasing them. So I played around with it for a bit and then I decided, oh, all the weapons are attached via small buggy floors. Now small buggy floors, if you don't know, have 90% shoot through, but against melee damage that doesn't do anything. And a couple of big explosions, even just 10% of the couple of big explosions will easily do the eight durability and then all your weapons fall off. That wasn't fun, so I jiggered it around a little bit and attached them to the frame, which is a lot tougher. And then I trundled off into battle and let's go watch a few battles where interesting things happened. You'll notice this build doesn't have any hover catchers sitting on top of the cabin to, to get hovers, but that's all right because the maulers are high enough, the tops of them at any rate, to catch their our hover's frame and anything slung between, like a generator. And oh, here I've caught one on his own, I surprised him, and shotguns? You're not allowed shotguns on a hover. That's against the Geneva Convention. Oh, man. Okay, we'll try that again. See if we can catch a hover out early on. There can't be that many with shotguns. So the Griffin's superpower is to not appear on the enemy's minimap. Radar detectors won't find them when you've got the Griffin active. And once the Griffin cabin runs out, fire the chameleon so they can't see me. Or if I come into a line of sight of the enemy, use the chameleon. So who's that? He looks a bit bulky. Any hover? There, hover. Right. We'll have you. Wee! Where's my rear end gone? Where my real where's my rear tracks gone? What happened to them? I hooked him and then they were gone. <sighs> Let's watch that again in slow motion, see if we can see what's going on. So I've harpooned him, ground a bit on his underside, and then is that bumpers on the rear? Do they hit me? They it doesn't look like it, but nothing else is there. It must have been the bumpers. Huh. And another thing, why am I being thrown around like a ragdoll? He's a hover. He's floating on air. He's got a harpy cabin and I've got the griffin cabin. I've got lots of power. I've got a big engine. I've got tracks. I've got lots of traction. Surely I should be dragging him around, not me being thrown around like a ragdoll. Pfft. Robbed I was. Robbed. With your melee build, it can take a few seconds to grind your way through someone and wreck them or destroy them. And it can take considerably longer if they start wiggling around or they've got big bumpers or something. And while you're grinding away at them, you're a sitting duck for any allies who happen to be nearby, who will just shoot you up because you're not moving very fast. So it's vitally important that you catch people out on their own. And here's someone on their own. Let's have them. Oh, no, it's got lances. I don't like lances. I don't want to run into lances. Uh, but luckily... I've got his side and his frame isn't up to much in between and they're all gone all his weapons gone and now he's gone and now I make my escape laughing <laughs> before his allies catch up with me and wreck me in return so that was pretty good a bit scary with the lances but and here's another one he's isolated themselves and he was moving around maybe it's a hover oh, no that's no hover that's a fully armed and operational spider build. Ah, the mechanical legs, 510 durability, 50% melee resistance. And everything else is up high where I can't reach yet. So, no, 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 I'm not touching that spider. Run away. So, Sector X, let's see what we can do here. Oh, someone's got a radio detector. Excellent, let's see what's going on. Oof, oh, watch where you're going, you big echo lump. Oh, I suppose it takes two to collide. Sorry! But what's this? Someone coming along on top? Is he coming along on top? I think he is. He is coming along the top. Excellent. Let's have him. And it's Arthur. Marvellous. Whoa! 
and the harpoon rope snapped. He flipped me over and the harpoon rope snapped. Marvellous. I think I'm stuffed now. Well, he's certainly concentrating on me, looking, thinking I'm wounded. I've got an ally helping. But he's come too close and I've harpooned him! Ha! The Bobbit Worms got you now! There's no escaping! Ha 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 ha! Gotcha! Come here! Come here! I'm going to have you! Yum yum yum! Oof! Oh! Ah, just a cabin. Now I'm just a cabin. Well, I got the kill, but now I'm just a cabin. That could have gone better. But we seem to be winning, so I think I'll stick around for the greater resource reward all the way to the end of the battle. And have you seen those bobbit worms? Have you seen the video of them? They just leap out of the sand and grab the fish, and they grow up to three meters long. Ugh. I don't want to go in the sea anymore. And eons ago, they used to be bigger. Oh, oh. I'll go find a link to the video here. Yeah, I'll put that in the description. Off we go again. Who can we get the jump on this time? No one. This time, the enemy gets the jump on me. Oh, run away, run away. Get some landscape between us. So you go and shoot me and run. Oh, hang him out. My ally came to help. And I can't leave him alone. But there's three of them and two of us. Oh, we can get someone inside. Get him in. No, that's the front. I don't want to get him in the front. He's just going to make a mess of me before I get through those bumpers. But, ooh, landscape! And, oh yes! He's turned up, he was, yeah, he's on his back. The turtle's on his back. Now we can have him. But sometimes, the mauler's just, you know, push people off. Alright, I'll harpoon him. But, that's not helping either. And he's still shooting me. Right, disengage and get him. Oh, I'm bad. That's better, that's better. Shh, shh, all be over soon. There we go. Well, that's left me pretty beat up. Maybe I'll just capture. Oh, no, interrupted. And, oh, only got three wheels left. But I've still got a harpoon. And sometimes that's just enough to get your remaining weapons to right where they need to be. Lovely. In the previous clips, it hasn't been the vehicle that's been a problem, it's been the 200 pound chimp hanging off the steering wheel that's been the real issue. But in this clip, it's neither the player nor the vehicle. It's a bug in the game. Now, I've not made the best approach to this triple cannon guy, but I've got to his back and he hasn't shot me and I've harpooned him and now he's pulled me over. But now I'm right way up and now I'm starting to chew, excellent. And now I just have to move forward and he's minced me. I just go straight through him, just move forward. Just move forward. I couldn't move forward. And the bug happens every so often, not every time I fire the harpoon, but every so often I harpoon someone and then I can't move. I can't move forwards, I can't move backwards and there's nothing else touching me. And I suspect it's something to do with the harpoon passing through the lacerators. Let's watch the critical bit in slow motion again. So I've harpooned him. I've chewed him up a little bit, and then from about this point onwards, I can't move. I can't move forwards, I can't move backwards. I mean, maybe I can't move backwards because we're harpooned, and I can't drag him because he's got more power, more traction, more mass. But I should be able to go straight forward and into him, and I can't. All that happens is I jerk around. You can see the lacerator's sparking, but there's no damage being done. And now some something's gone right again. The world's back to rights, I can move back away from him and then I could could have had another crack at him but his ally came along and between knocked, knocked me off and between the two of them they just chew me up. And it's happened before several times and sometimes you know on flat landscape there's nothing else around, no cat cans, mines or land, bits of landscape sticking up, not even any other vehicles, just me, the guy, the vehicle I've harpooned and they're a distance away from me and I can't move forwards or backwards. So that's a bug. That's a bug with the harpoon. When the rope goes through the lacerators, I think. Anyway, I'm sure they'll fix that bug soon enough. But until they do, maybe it's not a good idea to put the Skinner right between and behind a pair of lacerators. That's it for this video. If you want to see more Agile Crossout videos then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.